Yeah, so I picked up this injury uh, back in August this year. I had a World Cup race, it was our seventh, no, sixth of seven World Cup races. And it was in the Czech Republic, uh, Nova Mesto, a place in Czech Republic. Uh, really nice course, great event, real technical, physical course, a lot of climbing as well. And uh, yeah, fifth lap in, starting to get a bit tired, probably a bit stiff and ragged. Slipped on a route, front wheel just went, the type of crash that mountain bikers have all the time when you hit the deck before you even know it. But this time I was unlucky, I landed on a massive tree stump, I think, on my hip, which took all the force and stopped me dead. And I managed to break the neck of my femur. Unbelievable pain, uh, off to hospital, scans. And then that night I was pinned and plated. Uh, and then stuck in the Czech Republic, rehabbing for six days, fighting to get home. It's quite a delicate injury, uh, so it's quite a long rehab process. Normally a bone takes, you know, you break an arm or a, a simple leg brain, it's, you know, it's six weeks. This is six weeks of no weight bearing on the leg, and then a further six weeks of half weight bearing, they call it, so just letting the strength. So the bone has to fix it for six weeks which I've had now, I've been had all clear on that one, so it's fixed, but then it has to have another six weeks to get stronger. So it's a 12 week process. I'm doing it with uh, Andy Wadsworth, uh, my life. Uh, I've known Andy a long time since back in, well, years and years and years to be honest, but we used to be racing in World Cups together, not that long ago actually, um, before he started doing this as a job. Um, and he's always helped me out with my strength and conditioning and, and bits and bobs, mostly in the off season really. Um, and so he got stuck in pretty quick. Even when I was out in the Czech Republic, he was you know, on the phone trying to get me to do some, because you have to start moving as quick as you can, get me to do a few bits and bobs out there. And then when I, after a couple of, when I was home for a week and actually recovered from the kind of travel surgery and that sort of stuff, came in here and just started doing initially just a bit of work on the other leg, the good leg, and my upper body just to try and keep myself sane really and exercise a bit. Just lying around at home doesn't do you any good. Uh, you, when you're a regular exerciser. So for the first six weeks, it was a couple of weeks of doing nothing and then four weeks of actually doing some exercise three times a week to, for morale, really. And then once I got to the six-week stage, um, I could, was given the all-clear to start riding on the, on the Watt bike and uh, doing a little bit of work um, on, indoors on a, on a kind of light, lightweight. So it's 200 watts, which is pushing a little bit but normally an average endurance ride would be about 240 for me. It would be my normal kind of pace for four hours. And at the moment I'm doing 200, I started with 200 for 10 minutes, you know, so it's starting slow and, and you know, two weeks, two weeks in now, uh, into the ride and so I'm up to an hour at 220 watts now and breaking it up into little chunks. Um, we're trying to get this glute to work again. Basically when you break your hip, the glute uh, kind of not gets knocked out your body doesn't want to, to use it at all because it puts a lot of pressure on where I've damaged. So uh, it's trying to you know, open those channels up again and get my glute to activate. Um, they do a lot of power but also a lot of support which you need for mountain cycling and mountain biking in particular. So we're doing a lot of work on that. So I ride on the bike, 10, 15 minutes, jump off the bike, glute exercises, stretching, back on to try and get this glute to work properly. When I first got on the bike, the leg was wobbling all over the place. It was, you know, as I pushed down, the leg was just coming straight in because it had no tightness on the, on the outside, really. So yeah, it's just a lot of work. And then we're working on my general strength that I would do this time of year anyway. It's a good time. I've got a bit more spare time, not riding hours and hours. So I've got time to work on my upper body, work on your weak points like my shoulders, which get a bit of a, you know, neglected during the summer. So we're, we're you know, we're getting there, but by, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ahead of what I thought I would be. So uh, it's all going all right.